Come, let us sing to our God. Let us shout with joy to the rock that saves us. Let us approach with praise and thanksgiving. Let us sing joyful songs to our God. Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is morning prayer for Saturday, October the 12th. It's the 20th week after Pentecost and week 7 in the Psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 144 and Jeremiah chapter 35, verse 1 to 19. And I'd like to uh, share a programming note with you this morning. Uh, next week, after Sunday, the daily office will be on hiatus for the week. Uh, this is due to my recent relocation to the Las Vegas, Nevada area for a job and also the uh, Mercy of God Community's uh, Fall Retreat, which was held uh, October 1st through uh, 4th. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, blessed are you, my God, my strength, who trains my hands for war and my fingers to fight. Alleluia. Psalm 144. Alleluia, blessed are you, my God, my strength, who trains my hands for war and my fingers to fight. My goodness and my fortress, my high tower, my deliverer, my shield, the one in whom I trust, who subdues my people under me. O God, what are we that you even notice us, mere mortals that you care about us? <clears throat> creatures who are like a breeze, our days like a shadow that passes away. Bend your heavens and come down, touch the mountains, they shall smoke. Cast forth your lightning and scatter the foe, shoot out your arrows and destroy them. Send your hand from above and deliver me out of great waters from the hands of alien foes, whose mouths speak lies with their right hand raised in perjury. I will sing a new song to you, O God, upon a psaltery and an instrument of ten strings. I will sing praises to you. It is you that give knowledge and salvation to kings, you who delivered David, your servant, from the sword. Rid me of my alien foes, whose mouths speak lies, and their right hands raised in perjury that our sons may flourish like saplings, and our daughters may be graceful columns polished like a palace, that our barns may be full with crops of every kind, that our sheep may increase by thousands and ten thousands in our streets, that our oxen may be heavy with young, that there be no ruined wall nor exile, that there be no complaining in our streets. Happy are the people with who, with who are blessed, happy are they whose God is the Most High. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed are you, my God, my strength, who trains my hands for war and my fingers to fight. Alleluia. The lesson is from the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 35, beginning at verse 1. The word that came to Jeremiah from Yahweh in the days of King Jehoiakim, son of Josiah of Judah. Go to the house of the Rechabites and speak with them, and bring them to the house of the Most High God into one of the chambers and offer them wine to drink. So I took Jaazaniah, son of Jeremiah, and his brothers and all his sons and the whole house of the Rechabites and brought them to the house of the Most High into the chamber of the sons of Hanun, the man of God, <clears throat> which was near the chamber of the officials, above the chamber of Maasiah. Then I set before the Rechabites pitchers full of wine and cups, and I said to them, Have some wine. But they answered, We will drink no wine. 
For our ancestor Jonadab, son of Rechab, commanded us, You shall never drink wine, neither you nor your children, nor shall you ever build a house or sow a seed, nor shall you plant a vineyard or even own one, but you shall live in tents all your days, that you may live many days in the land where you reside. We have obeyed the charge of our ancestor Jonadab, son of Rechab, and all that he commanded, to drink no wine. All our days, ourselves, our wives and sons, our daughters, and not to build houses to live in. We have no vineyard or field or seed, but we have lived in tents and obeyed and done all that our ancestor Jonadab commanded us. But when King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon came up against the land, we said, Come, let us go to Jerusalem for fear of the army of the Chaldeans and the army of the Arameans. That is why we are living in Jerusalem. And then the word of the Most High came to Jeremiah. Thus says Yahweh of hosts, the God of Israel, Go and say to the people of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, Can you not learn a lesson and obey my words? The command has been carried out that Jonadab, son of Rechab, gave to his descendants to drink no wine, and they drink none to this day, for they have obeyed their ancestors' command. But I myself have spoken to you persistently, and you have not obeyed me. I have sent to you all my servants, the prophets, sending them persistently, saying, Turn now every one of you from your evil ways, and amend your doings, and do not go after other gods to serve them. And then you shall live in the land that I gave to you and your ancestors. But you did not incline your ear or obey me. The descendants of Jonadab, son of Rechab, have carried out the command that their ancestor gave them. But this people has not obeyed me. Therefore, thus says Yahweh, God of hosts, the God of Israel, I am going to bring on Judah and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem every disaster that I have pronounced against them, because I have spoken to them and they have not listened. I have called to them and they have not answered. But to the house of the Rechabites, Jeremiah said, Thus says Yahweh of hosts, the God of Israel, because you have command, obeyed the command of your ancestor, Jonadab, and kept all his precepts and done all he commanded you. Therefore, thus says Yahweh of hosts, the God of Israel, Jonadab, son of Rechab, shall not lack a descendant to stand before me for all time. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the church and the world, for the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people. For all of our church leaders, for all clergy and ministers, that they may be faithful servants of your word and sacraments. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed. We remember the poor, the hungry, and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, especially Robert and Carrie, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine. For all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth. For the mercy of God community and for the Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia and for the First Baptist Church in Denver. That God, who has begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all the saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Your blessings fill us with joy, Almighty God, for you give us the victory and set us free from the enemy. Accept this humble praise and our songs. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.